So I have a lot of clients that have these block walls in the yard and they can be a little intrusive. They're big and they're boring. So what I like to do is add some color, soften them up, and you can stucco. But with this project in particular, there's soil on the other side of this wall and it has not been sealed. So over time, the water seeped through the brick or seeped through the concrete block and has pushed off the paint that was on this side. So I've decided to use a mineral paint for this application. I got mine from Romo Bio, and basically it's ancient technology, it's minerals, it's natural, and so the nice thing about it is that water, if water does push through, it actually can still escape, where if you have latex or acrylic, it gets stuck there, it builds up, and it pushes the material off, whether that's stucco or a traditional paint. So to properly prepare this wall, we power washed it, And now we're gonna apply the primer today. We're gonna apply the primer on the wall. It takes eight to 12 hours to dry, so that's all we'll do today, and then we'll come back another day to actually paint it with the mineral paint. So we're gonna need to dilute this, we're gonna need to mix it, and we're gonna use a brush to apply it on the wall. So I'm applying a primer because this is a concrete material and it requires it. Also, if it was painted, you would wanna use a primer. We're diluting it about 30% per the instructions, and then I'm using a brush to apply it, but we're setting up a sprayer right now because the sprayer will be a lot more efficient for the 100 feet we need to cover. All right, after we get all the primer up, we're gonna wait eight to 12 hours for it to completely dry, and then we're gonna come back with our mineral paint. The nice thing about mineral paint is it's breathable, it's toxin-free, it's environmentally friendly, and it lasts a really long time. We're using the color CO-280, and this color in particular does not have a name yet, which is super exciting, as they are probably gonna let me name it, and I was thinking about calling it Sarita Sage, but if you guys have a better idea, let me know in the comments below. So we are using a textured paint. You have the option of using a smooth paint as well. The textured paint has aggregate in it, making it actually smooth out my wall because it fits in all the nooks and crannies of my imperfect concrete wall. So there's a few options and there's a ton of colors you can choose. In fact, you can see John here, he's the master tinter and he made this color specifically for us, which is super rad. I really love how the color turned out. However, I'm not done. I still plan on stenciling this wall. So keep an eye out for that video. Thanks for watching guys. Go ahead and hit that like button or subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you on the next video.